Welcome everyone. This is Beth Davis and Pamela Landers. And we're going to be looking at heart and headlines. This is from Richard Unger, uh, who developed this hand analysis system um, nearly 40 years ago. And that's really not that much time in the span of history. So what you are learning here, uh, scientific hand analysis, is a fairly new uh, system. And we're so happy to have you with us learning it. The root of the word character means marked or etched with sharp lines. The lines in your palm represent a wiring diagram, a neuron traffic map, a series of EKG-like graphs that describe individual components of your character. In the 19th century, the lines were likened to an astral fluid, carving a series of river flows across the topography of the palm. This language was dropped in the early 20th century, but the metaphor is still useful. Imagine you are sitting on a rock high above a field of wheat, the golden grains gently waving in the breeze. A single person walks through the field disturbing the stalks and leaving a clear trail behind. An hour later, the wheat field has returned to its original state, the wind erasing all trace of the intruder. But suppose 1,000 people had walked in a straight line through the wheat field, or 1,000 people per hour for a year. The path would be deeper, more visible, and harder to alter. The lines in your palm represent the repeated paths taken by the sum total of your brain's processing over your lifetime. Let me say that again so this sinks in. This is the power of the lines. The lines in your palm represent the repeated paths taken by the sum total of your brain's processing over your lifetime. The lines are indicators of capabilities and inclinations. They are capable of change over time. They do not know what will happen next. That being said, your character and behavior patterns are significantly predictive of future possibilities. Can we say something a little bit about the neurology? Okay. So what I've learned since I understood all of this is that, um, that when you think a thought repeatedly, it actually starts changing your cells. So when you, it starts getting grooved in. So your cells start responding to this becomes the familiar thought pattern. And when you change your thoughts, then you change your cellular structure. Your cells actually change, which is ultimately how lines are going to change, especially the ones that are more deeply grooved or have been there since birth or, you know, before birth. Obviously, the lines are there in your hands before you're born. Um, but you can change lines on purpose by changing your thought patterns and changing the neurology. And you have to really believe what you're thinking, by the way. You can't just fake it. <laughs>